Knickerbocker Glory is the first pudding I ever remember eating. So he's come to a famous ice cream parlour in London to relive those early memories. Yeah. Hello, I'll do a How are you? I've come from Knickerbocker Glory. Come to the right place. I remember his little boy sitting in Notarani's cafe in Bridlington at the table, my mother having her espresso and me sat on my seat. But the Knickerbocker Glory looking me in the eye. Marco's mother, Maria Rosa, died suddenly when he was just six years old. But she's had a profound effect on his culinary career. It's like being that boy of six again. And you know what's amazing? It's almost the same decor. There's only one difference. My mum's not here. But in spirit, she is. And what I love about Nicobocca Glory, the layers. Jelly, ice cream, tinned fruit, it's magical. And you, you eat through the layers. So without realising it is gastronomy at its best. Flavours, textures, concepts. One of Marco's trademark puddings is eaten mess and he's been considering it for the feast from the very beginning. My inspiration for the eaten mess that I do came from a Nicobocca Glory. I took my inspiration from the first Nicobocca Glory I ever had. Beautiful. So what I'm going to make for you is an eaten mess. And I haven't made meringue for 30 years. Eight egg whites. 400 grams of sugar. At the end, you just put the juice of half a lemon in. Now what I've done is I've got a soft peak. Just put it into the piping bag, but try not to get any air pockets. So when you pipe, you get a nice run. Just put them in the oven, lowest possible temperature, and when they've dried, then they come out and they're perfect. Take the tops off the strawberries. Some raspberries. It's not tradition to put raspberries with eaten mess. But raspberries just give it that little bit of extra richness and that little bit of a punch. A little bit of sugar. The next stage, cream, icing sugar and vanilla powder. Cream. Double cream, of course. A prox, 500 grams, half a litre. 50 grams of icing sugar, half a vanilla pod, seeds, vanilla seeds. Oh, look at that fighting. I should make smaller recipes, it'd be easier. And there's our vanilla cream. So a few strawberries. Okay, then we just break up the meringue. Again, your choice. Big or small. And let's live in the real world. If you haven't got time to make meringue, buy it. Go down the supermarket. And then we would take a little bit of pulp. So we've got our glasses which we've chilled in the freezer. You see, when I put the ice cream in, it just doesn't melt. I remember the first time I ever ate Eaton Mess. I did enjoy it, but I thought it was a bit one-dimensional. I think the genius of putting a big ball of vanilla ice cream in the bottom of the dish was from all those years ago in Bridlington, where I first had my Knickerbocker glory. The pulp. Be generous with your pulp. A mess on top, a nice sprig of mint, and the big bowl for me. Marco wants one more pudding option before deciding which to serve at his feast. With the big day approaching, time is of the essence, so he's looking a little closer to home for some fruit for a summer jelly. We like beetroot. That's good value, isn't it? We charge about 12 quid for that in my restaurant. Will you come to buy or come to chat? A bit of both. do business. That's all right. Your mother's giving me a hard time. Is she? What's she saying now? Oh, she's giving me a hard time. You ain't seen nothing yet. She's going through the menopause like we've got to ignore it. I like your little girl. 
<laughs> she's nice. Well, she's like a mother, isn't she? Cheeky but nice. <laughs> Summer fruit. That's me. That's my department, Marco. OK. These are nice. Try one. I like red fruits. Yeah, I like raspberries, too. They're nice, raspberries aren't they? Are nice. Mm. nice scent. I prefer those not, to strawberries. Not enough colour. They need to be left out for a little while yes. in a warm kitchen just to sweeten them. Yeah. That's right, you know. These are good. Sure. You oh, are, without a doubt, the prettiest veg bird in the world. Oh, thank oh, you. Sweet. She is. Much. Seriously, if I lived locally, I'd be here every day. <laughs> I'll take this like entire tray of raspberries. <laughs> I'll take... We'll make bubble lots bubble. of portions, so we'll buy that. Right, OK. We'll buy this. Yeah. We need some of these. Yeah. There, I'll take all those. Mr Ishi, lots of red fruit. There we are. Bye, girls. Give me a kiss. Goodbye. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, darling. I'm a bit now. Do, 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 don't you shave? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Come on, girl. OK. So what I'm going to prepare now is something very simple. Just red fruits in a rosé jelly. Red currants for garnish, blackberries, strawberries, blueberries and raspberries. Pour our rosé wine. 500 grams of sugar. It may look a little cloudy at this moment in time, but as it boils, it'll boil clear. So it's just going up to the boil now. And what I've got to do is just whisk an eight litres of gelatine which have been soaked in water. You know, you can buy granules. It's the same, whichever your preference is. Just whisk it in until it all dissolves. And don't think that your children will get drunk if you give it to them. Because by cooking the wine, you're removing the alcohol from it. And there's our rosé wine jelly. So now we have to let that cool. So a tiny bit of jelly in the bottom of each one. And then what we do... Jelly, fruit, jelly, fruit. So what I don't want to happen is, is I don't want to turn it out and it breaks, because there's not enough jelly. And I'm just finishing it off with blackberries. What we do is just put them in the fridge until they've set up. So these jellies have... They've taken about five hours to set. And so what we've got to do is now take them out and then present them. I mean, this is where disaster can strike. Jelly Royale. So there's our jellies. What we serve them with is a syrup of raspberries. Flood the plate. I don't like dribbles of sauces on plate. Yeah, I just think it's, what's the point? Does it make it taste any better? And then just some mint. And there's our red fruits in jelly. Marco now has three potential puddings and needs to pick one for his feast menu. And whenever there's a decision to be made, he heads to his beloved pub. This time, instead of asking a room full of diners to help him choose, Marco's opted for the safer option, Nick. So, Nick, I think I know what your favourite is before yeah. you can taste it. Yeah, I know you do. The sweet desserts are my Cambridge burnt cream. Is that your favourite? No, it's not, actually. What is it? Eat a mess. Eat a mess. But the jelly as well. But I think eat a mess, for me, is the best. Interesting. What I want to do with the pudding is take the diners back to their childhood. Because when we're young, pudding seems so big, so delicious, so special. That's Beautiful. a big jelly. Yeah. That's for two. No more. She's massive. That's enormous. <laughs> Need a forklift truck for that. That's terrific. Jesus. OK, thank you, Neil. Gorgeous. Mm. The thing is, it's very refreshing, isn't it? Is it going to be that size, boss? Do you think it's big enough? I think it's very big. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very which, light. Which do you prefer, the mess or...? Mm. Look at that. I'd prefer the mess. Like, I would only need a little bit of that after a big meal. Do you like jelly? The red fruit jelly is delicious. Mm. I do like jelly.